doing here oh. you know I've had probably about half a dozen reddit accounts over the years because usually I have to share and then I try to do one on my own and then I forget the password so I have to share another one, and then I have to make another one, and then I can't keep my own because I forget the password. But it's always the great same few subreddits that I like, like political humor and public freakout is always fun. Ooh, so the racist MAGA Nazis kicked out two black Democrats from the Tennessee House of Reps. But after the nationwide outcry and huge protests, they were legally reinstated because fuck Nazis. Here's Justin Pearson celebrating the good news. Yeah, they knew they could, uh, the council, I guess, could, they had the power to reinstate people when certain people get kicked out. And the people who were kicked out can also legally be reinstated by this council. So they were out on Friday, back by Monday. Let's get back to work. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for these guys. Why is Joe Biden's son Hunter with him in Ireland on the taxpayer's dime? Trump hauled his entire family to England to meet the Queen. Sit down. Speaker Cameron Sexton has been a very naughty boy. Since 2021, Sexton has stolen more than 98000 by claiming fake travel expenses from his home district in Crossville. He's been living full-time in his new Nashville home purchased through a secret trust that he uses to pay himself. Okay. Aw, another one of Pearson. Fuck. White House staff now required to wear masks around the president. Ah, ha, ha. Folks, I've been away and not paying attention to the news. What contrived bogus culture war issue are they melting down about now? Well, Mr. Pac-Man, <laughs> it's the fucking rainbow beer. You got to see how many cases of this shit these people are buying just so they can ruin it, so they can say they don't like it. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Had to have been a very bright week down there this week. Uh, ooh, a six-leaf clover. Oath, what oath? President didn't do it. Even if he did it, the evidence is hearsay. Okay, if there are eyewitnesses, we don't want to hear them. 
okay, if we hear from them, it doesn't meet standards of impeachment. Okay, if it does meet that standard, we still have all the votes we need. We find the president innocent by reason of we don't care he's guilty. Sounds about right. DOJ arrest suspect connected to Pentagon leak, basically to impress his friends. Department of Justice arrest Pentagon dock leaker. I heard he was like former military or something. I don't know. I hope they don't plan on using him as some scapegoat so that they can get Trump off the hook or something. No video games where he's going. Since late last week, FBI has aggressively pursued investigative leads, and today's arrest exemplifies our continued commitment to identifying, pursuing, and holding accountable those who betray our country's trust and put our national security at risk. They actively covered up his crimes. They're complicit. Yeah, if his uh, friends he was trying to impress helped him cover up anything, that they then they are complicit. Spotted at West Palm Beach Airport. Oh. If you do not accept that bodily autonomy is an essential, unconditional liberty, it's a waste of time talking to you at all. No other liberties could survive without that one. More fundamental than even property rights. If you do not own yourself, absolutely, you can own nothing. Very good. Yeah, you know, you. <laughs> Ew. I don't care. Whites and Christians should be exempt from prosecution according to low life. Marjorie Three Toad Sloth Green. Jake Texiera is white male Christian and anti war. That makes him an enemy to the Biden regime. And he told the troops of the. Oh, you know what? I don't give a fuck. Can't wait till every single one of these nitwits is completely out of here. Mm. Aw, there's Greg Abbott, the little piss baby. Yes, we've got one for Junior, too. Junior, son of a bitch. Ugh. Become an official 2024 Trump gold turd holder. Every golden turd is personalized and unique. Remember American Dad, Roger's golden turd? It was the continuing saga of the golden turd. If you're not an American Dad fan, like, I think it was once a season for several seasons, right in the middle of an episode, they would do, like, letterboxing of the screen 
in the middle of nowhere. And it would be like all of a sudden it's a serious movie scene instead of the normal American Dad episode. And it was part of the continuing saga about a golden turd with jewels stuck in it. And anybody who found the golden jewel-encrusted turd, like the most evil within them would come out. And they would do this for several seasons. You never knew which episode was going to have this sudden letterboxing cutaway into the next portion of the Golden Turd saga. And you have, like, politicians becoming evil and someone, yeah, the politician's mom got lethal injection because she killed her husband over the golden turd. And, and of course, it came from Roger. I don't even know if Roger knew that he left a golden turd or how his golden turd affected humanity. But they haven't done a golden turd uh, segment in a while. So, how come Second Amendment voters never pay attention? A2 voters are constantly concerned that someone's going to take away all their guns, even though all of these presidents didn't. Wait. So the traitor who leaked U.S. intelligence to hurt our efforts in Ukraine was a racist white right-wing gun nut? Oh, so I'm just getting familiar with this shit. So this has nothing to do with Trump's stolen classified documents. This is a right-wing douche who worked within the military who leaked intelligence info to take the side of Russia. News, traitor appears to be a Trump supporter. They're the same thing. He was just trying to get onto Trump's national security team by helping Putin. So has Trump promised to pardon him if reelected yet? Or did wheelchair Hitler from Texas already beat him to the punch on that? We call him Governor Hot Wheels down here. No, it's okay. According to the conservative subreddits, and no, I'm not kidding. This was a false flag planned leak to make the right look bad. This guy was a scapegoat because the evil left wants to use it as a tactic to ban all social media. To make the right look bad, so you agree it's very bad. Don't forget the guns. Well, clearly the people who need to be watched are the LGBTQ. We need to check again. Surely he was a transgendered individual funded by George Soros after being exposed to CRT in school. Has Kyle Rittenhouse's lawyers offered to take the case yet? Wouldn't surprise me in the least. I hope they nail his ass to the wall. Okay. Where did it say he was right wing? I saw that it said he likes guns. So you're just assuming he's right-wing because of that? To quote from The Guardian, 
Texiera is believed to have been the leader of the online chat group where hundreds of photographs of secret and top secret documents were first uploaded from late last year to March. The online group called itself Thug Shaker Central, made up of 20 to 30 teenagers and young men brought together by an enthusiasm for guns, military gear, and video games. Racist language was a common feature of the group. According to a teenage member of the Thug Shaker group interviewed by the Washington Post, Texiera had a dark view of the government, portraying the government and particularly law enforcement and intelligence agencies as a repressive force. He would rant about government overreach. Like, the Discord channel wasn't called Trumplandia 2024, but generally guns, military gear, video games, and racist language, combined with the anti-government sentiments focused heavily on federal law enforcement and intelligence agencies, that would paint a picture we've seen quite often with alt-right crowds. To be fair... It sounds like Texiera was trying to be cool in the eyes of the Discord buddies who were teenagers and not actively seeking to damage the Ukrainian war effort. Now, while I'm pretty confident he is conservative or alt-right, I really don't think this leak was a total political act. Just rank stupidity and ego meeting an intelligence security system that gave him way more access than he ever needed or deserved. Just playing the odds, by the way, Texiera is male and an E3. That alone means there's a very good chance he's a Republican. So he'll be off to Mar-a-Lago for a couple of years while Garland starts his investigation. Meanwhile, he should feel free to commit whatever more crimes he wishes. Who is Jack Texiera, the man arrested over the Pentagon files leak? self-obsessed right-wing discord gamer. Do you support the new bill? What's it about? Well, it gives the government power to, no, force you to carry a pregnancy to term and prosecute you if you don't, forget forbid you from getting medical care that doctors will recommend, tell you which bathroom to use, which books you're allowed to read, and which kinds of people you can and cannot learn about in school. Oh, then yes. Fort Lauderdale is flooded. But Big Ron has his eyes on the prize, campaigning in Ohio. I'd like to see what kind of Disney princess his wife is dressed up as while people in their state are uh, suffering from flooding. The fraud father. After all his corruption, Trump's finally been indicted. All these courthouse workers literally crying over my indictment. The defendant, 2024. <laughs> this asshole again. Oh, Christ, it's this asshole again.
So anyway, I started suing. And you know what? Maybe everybody should say fuck Florida. Because have you heard about this? Civil rights groups are issuing very rare travel advisory warnings telling people not to enter the state of Florida. And I agree. Elon Musk bitch ass when NPR gets two mil in federal subsidies. Elon Musk bitch ass when he gets five billion in subsidies for his non propaganda pushing companies. Donald Trump is suing Kushner over the two billion in Saudi funds he got. Trump claiming he deserves half due to executive privilege. His grifting didn't get him enough from uh, the beer people. The beer people are spending too much of their money on beer to destroy it because they don't like trans people. So they're not, like, donating to him. Uh Uh-oh, once again, we are becoming increasingly concerned that some of the people here do not understand at least one of the following four concepts. Irony, parody, sarcasm, satire. Any user report of misinformation on a post that is obviously a joke will be reported to the admins for abusing the report feature. Halfway post is a parody account. Well, okay. My God, I never heard about this one. Trump's fascination with the name Barron persisted for decades. When he was seeing Marla Maples while still married to Ivana, he sometimes used the code name The Barron when he left messages for her. In 04, when Trump commissioned a dramatic TV series based on the life of a New York real estate mogul like him, His only request to the writer was to name the main character Baron. 
And when Trump and his third wife, Melania, had a son, they named him Baron. I bet you he is fascinated by the name Baron because it comes from Baron, which is a rank in the landed nobility. And you know that man would kill to be an aristocrat. He fancies himself a Harkonnen. He already has the right potty shape. It's like oligarch, but in English. A name he stole from Conrad Hilton, yes, that Hilton, because he thought he was the better real estate and hotels guy. He also took his other son's names from him, Junior and Eric. One is a coincidence, and lots of boomers name their kids after themselves, but three times? Who the hell spells Baron with two R's anyway? Now consider that Ivanka's name is actually Ivana and is his ex-wife's, and Tiffany's is literally after the jewelry store. He spent nearly half an hour bragging about the deal he made with them, not her, after she came into the world. The only child whose birth he showed up to. Shows that he isn't just financially bankrupt, but creatively too. And always has been. I actually like the name Baron, but I don't know if I'd name my kid Baron. M3T, Marjorie Three Toes, sides with Putin and the leaker of classified documents. Republicans really hate America. Aww. Aww. Let's take a kitty break. Show me the cutest pictures of your sleeping kitties. Aww. You know, when we had the two kitties, I used to call them the yin-yang kitties because they'd sleep curled up like a yin-yang in each other. And it was so adorable. Aww. <laughs> It's too bright for him. That's why he's hiding his face with his paws. Aww. Look at the little babies. Aww. 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 <laughs> Oh, always with the tongue out. <laughs> oh, my two boys inseparable from the day they were born and beyond. Oh, look at those little snuggly kitties. My boys socks and orange. Sox brought Orange home and brought his brother, too. We presume they were dumped as they immediately were friendly and climbed into my lap. We waited for anyone to claim them just in case they're six months old now. Guess Sox knows we have a good home and loves caring for kittens. Aww. Your cat adopted a cat. 
Oh. 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 Wow. Sleeping belly up. That's a really lovable kitty. Another kitty sleeping belly up. Oh. Oh. A horsey toy. Oh. See, that's closer to how my kitties used to sleep. The little yin yang. They look like yin yang. It's so cute. Oh. Dangle paw. <laughs> ah. Stretch those little paws. Oh, God, I hate it when cats do that on your bed. My cat used to do that over my pillow. He'd somehow shove my head off of my pillow. I'd wake up with such a damn sore neck. Aww. Aww. I have to stop looking at kitties. I could look at kitties all damn day. I did it. I found the most ridiculous example of right-wing projection I've ever seen. Even better, it's from a right-wing gay Queensling. Everyone needs religion. Democrats realize their supporters are mostly godless and fill the void with worship of the party. This creates a real problem for Republicans come election time. Republicans don't even like their party, much less worship it. Yeah. That is the most delusional example of right-wing projection I've seen today. <laughs> Fat slob says what? This is T King Tut's folding bed that was used for traveling. I guess it looks comfortable enough. Uh, okay. How I imagine politicians come to power. I just kept lying and it kept working. Inciting violence and terror against educators does not make you influential in education. Hear, hear. Did you know paranoid delusions are a side effect of overdoing keto? You don't say. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six eggs and a thick ass steak with butter. I 
we've been looking at. Let's look at... What the hell have you been looking at? Okay. Let's check face palm. Face palm has been decent lately. I did my politically charged rant for the day. Uh, oh my god. Ah ha! FBI flags these words to ID insults and racial violent extremists. Awesome. No wonder the right hates the FBI. Here's the glossary for flagging violent extremism. Flag terms include red-pilled, first popularized by the 99 film The Matrix, also based, looks maxing, and the names Chad and Stacy. I'm not an incel, so I guess it shouldn't be surprising that I've never heard the word Stacy being used by anybody who is anyone flags phrases including it's over and just be first Chad, Stacy will get you on an FBI list for involuntarily celibate violent extremism. Alt-right Zionist occupied government, blood and soil, great replacement theory. Chad is a race-specific term used to describe an idealized version of a male who is actually successful at gaining attention from women. <laughs> Just be first is jargon for incels for targeting minors for sex. Is it any surprise Right-wing insults are also total pedophiles. This is awesome. I like the idea of targeting these cretins just like the right-wing targets everybody. You know, the right goes after all the shit that is good in our country. We have so little good. And what good there is, things that we should be taking for granted, they want to take it away. Now they're going to cry like babies over the fact that it's time to do the same thing and root you rotten fucks out. And I have no problem with it. Anime MC tier. Okay.
Brazilian priest who tied himself to a thousand balloons and disappeared for months until his body was found in the Atlantic Ocean. It took a thousand balloons, that's it? Victoria Jackson. It seems absurd to me that the only women making headlines seem to be religious airheads, party girls, and political strumpets. Victoria Jackson. God, this is another thing Howard Stern jumped on when she first went down this rabbit hole. Look at how hot Victoria Jackson once was. This is her. She went complete uh, neo-Nazi, anti-LGBTQ, religious freak right winger in like the past 20 years and she looks like a fucking An mutant update correspondent, victoria jackson absurd to me that the only women making headlines seem to be religious airheads, party girls, and political strumpets. Victoria Jackson. Oh my God. God hates sodomy. He hates homosexuality. He said it's an abomination. And he hates, God hates sexual immorality. I feel so horrible for her because that was my SNL era right there. I was a huge fan of SNL with the leftover cast from the late 80s. I used to watch like every SNL when it had Victoria Jackson and Dana Carvey and Chris Farley and uh who else? Oh, yeah. Phil Hartman. All of those people. And some of them were there from the late 80s. I know Dennis Miller and Victoria Jackson were there from the late 80s. Uh, what's his name? Dana Carvey, I believe, was there from the late 80s. But I guess that late 80s, very early 90s cast, that phase, I was so into. Dang, I had a low-grade crush on Victoria Jackson back in the day. Looks like religion is a hell of a drug and gives you the munchies. Losing her looks makes you gain bitterness and hate. Is that really her? Yeah. Thanks and wow. Fairly certain it's not a new skit. Oh, people don't get it. The new part is referring to the fact that she's in the headlines again. She shows up on interviews and she's now going to city council meetings with this religious anti-gay bullshit. She must have been hurt by a guy who came out. She was so pretty, but her voice always made my pulse hurt. Wow, she did not age well. No, she hasn't. You can still tell um, when Stern went over Victoria Jackson's appearance on some news station 
when she was first getting all up in arms over this anti-gay rhetoric and this religious crap. I think it was about like 10 years ago. She was getting heavy, but she still looked pretty cute. But this, ugh, ugh. I think it's making me physically ill now. She is just a mutant. She looks horrible. What the hell is happening to all these awesome actors <coughs> and comedians, people that I grew up with, people that I so loved? What happened to you, Victoria Jackson? Jesus Christ. Just like Cousin Eddie. Randy Quaid, what happened to you, Randy Quaid? I can't get over it. What the hell happened? I grew up watching him, just like I watched Victoria Jackson and Roseanne when I was a kid, when I was growing up. <coughs> and here's your example. More projection from the right. Notice how these people lose their careers, they lose their looks, they let themselves go, they start gaining all this weight, and then they go full batshit right wing. They go full conservative on you. Fucking uh, Randy Quaid. That used to be his claim to fame. That used to be why we loved him. That was how he made a career for himself. He only played dumbass rednecks in National Lampoon's movies and shit. Now he is a dumbass redneck. Victoria Jackson was so fucking gorgeous and she was so awesome and she was a great comedian. She was a great comedic actor on SNL. You know the odds of landing a spot on a sketch comedy show like SNL or Mad TV was? Their cast could only consist of maybe like eight to ten people at a time and there were like two major sketch comedy shows out when I was growing up SNL and Mad TV they had in living color they had um actually SCTV the one that believe it or not Bill Nye used to be on and that was a very short-lived show. In Living Color was a relatively less popular show than Mad TV and SNL. But your chances of getting a, a slot on there, like astronomical. And she made it. And so who cares? if she doesn't have much of a career today. She was still like a comedic legend. And look at her. My God. As soon as she started gaining weight and started wearing those ugly hairstyles with the hair, the big thick hair bands in it, that's when she started making headlines for anti-LGBTQ bullshit. It's like when these people become irrelevant, when they become unattractive, they go to religion and the GOP. It's ridiculous. And I only feel bad for them. I am only whining because... These were once awesome, great people. <laughs>